What's going on drivers? Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper and I am your boy, Old Snapper. Now I'm gonna warn you ahead of time, the audio in this video is not real good. I did it outside and I did it next to the interstate. Wasn't a real good idea, but I'm a little hard headed and I wanted to do it. And I was trying something different with some different microphones to see how it would come out. Now I went ahead and edited it all up and put it up and that takes about four hours, four or five hours for me to edit these videos and get them up the way they are. Now it's really not worth four or five hours worth of work, but I went ahead and did it anyway. I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all take care. Let's get this video started. And by the way, we're gonna be going to the moon. Let's get it. Mm. This automatic, this beat came to me on a stretcher. Mm. In the lab, I step to the mic and feel like I'm Dexter. Mm. I'm a man, dark world, but I'm still shining like treasure. Mm. Yeah, I got joy like ha 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 Wait, and I can't wear smiles That's fake, then I'm between love and strong Hey, clock says no time for men Stakes, ring the alarm Sirens go off, but I'm calm My life resides in this palm Submit to my pops, respect for my mom Honor and both so my life will be long huh. Third time, get the trauma, the third strike Had to What's going on out there today, drivers? Hope everybody's doing great, staying safe, staying out of trouble Being good to one another Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper And I am Old Snapper Today we're going to be talking about driver facing cameras in the truck. I know some of you may be big supporters of them, some of you not so much. I'm going to talk about that or get into my opinions of it, my views of it, that's all it is. We're doing this video today a little bit different than my normal setup. Normally I'm inside my truck. Today we've got a couple different camera views and we're going to be doing it from outside the truck. I'm up here in beautiful Henderson, Nevada right outside of Las Vegas, right next to Remedies, local bar and grill. I don't drink, but they got some really good wings and they got some really good hamburgers. They got dirt lot next door if you ever want to park there. Let's get into this. Driver facing cameras. I don't support them and I'm gonna tell you why. I've driven with them. They always make me a little bit nervous. They kind of, if anything, they probably make my driving worse because I get so paranoid and nervous. Some companies have gone to using these driver-facing cameras that have AI technology. How often you're looking left, how often you're looking right, all that kind of stuff. I've never driven with one of those, but if I did, it would probably drive me absolutely insane. It would make me so nervous. It'd be like driving with an instructor sitting beside you all day long. And to me, in my personal opinion, it defeats the purpose of why people come into trucking. Why myself, I came into trucking. Now, I'm not saying everybody, but a good portion of us come into trucking because we don't want a boss staring down over our shoulder all day long, right? I know I don't. I don't know about you. But when you put that camera in there, you kind of defeat the purpose. It's just like having a boss staring over my shoulder all day long. That camera and this is outward facing or driver facing either or. It can help you in an accident. It can hurt you in an accident. It can go either way. If it hurts you, it's probably gonna hurt you even more drastically because when you go through the lawsuit, they're probably gonna hammer you with the max amount because they got video footage of whatever it was you did wrong. Whereas if they didn't have camera footage, there'd be a little bit of speculation. Lawyers could haggle more. You probably wouldn't get sued for as much. That's just a hypothesis on my part don't know for sure and I tried to do a little bit of research on it there's not enough research on it yet to see how that's working out you can't google it and there are some examples of people losing lawsuits just dependent upon the camera there's even two that I found where the driver that had the camera thought he was in the right lawyers were able to get a hold of that footage manipulate it take him to court and show that he was in the wrong end up losing his job, end up getting terminated. You know, any company end up getting sued. You as a driver can't get sued as well. So you have to protect yourself. It's not just your company. If you're an owner operator, your company can get sued. You know, it's a little bit different. But if you're a company driver and you think, well, if I mess up, that's on the company, that's not on me. Wrong, think again. You as a driver can be sued just like that company can. Now, some of you may have noticed now, some of you may have noticed that I've got company names and numbers going above the top. All of these are companies that do not have driver-facing cameras. 
So if you're currently working for a company that has driver facing cameras, call one of these numbers up here. So if you can find a company that fits you, if you want to go to work for a company that does not have driver facing cameras. With that being said, as a disclaimer, I haven't done any research on any of these companies other than the fact of whether they have driver facing cameras or not. That's all I know about them. So you're going to have to do your own research if you're going to call one of them. And my advice would be to write down a few of the numbers, call them, see which one fits you the best, right? Also, I myself, I do have a camera. I do have a drive cam. Now, the company that I currently work for and plan on retiring from the present time, we're not allowed to use them. So I don't use it. It stays put up. I don't use it. Even off, out on the road, I, don't, I just don't use it. They don't allow it. We don't use them. And honestly, I don't ask. It's not my company. I don't own the truck. So I do what's asked of me. As long as I work here, I agree to those terms, right? That's the way it works. So if you're a company driver, just the way it is. Now, if you're currently driving for a company that has driver-facing cameras and you have a bad record, you're probably not going to be able to go anywhere. You know, now the purpose of a driver facing camera is to watch those who have had accidents in the past. Creek does that. Schaefer does that. If you get an accident or a ticket over with those companies, they'll put a driver facing camera in your truck for 90 days. They're monitoring you. That's to protect themselves. It's also to counsel you as a driver. So if they see you have a bad habit or you are developing bad habits, that may potentially cause more accidents in the future, they're gonna counsel you on them. If they cannot get you to stop them, then they will be, then they will probably terminate you. I understand that, and that's all fine and dandy works for me. This new technology they got out on these trucks, the bending system in the front, the right turn sensors, all that stuff, these cameras, all it is in a nutshell is it's gathering data. It gathers that data, and it's being used in automated trucks. It's being used in the software that they use to develop these automated trucks and put drivers like you and me out of business. I'm not into helping my competition work against me. And I hope you aren't either. And I know some of you out there think it'll never happen. I did a video about that just the other day. You might want to go take a look at it. It's very possible. It can happen and it may happen. Probably will but I'm not gonna help it along to put me out of work before I'm ready to retire. I hope you put some thought to that as well. Now I know some of you out there say, well, the driver facing cameras, they save companies money. Look, most of the companies that have driver facing cameras are low paying companies. So if they're saving money, how come they're not paying more? Oh, that's right, because they have to buy the equipment and they have to pay for third party services, monitors and cameras. Not only that, but it ain't saving the company money on insurance because most of the companies that have it are self-insured. You can Google that and look that up. Stevens Transport's a good example. Stevens Transport has them in all of their trucks. Stevens Transport is self-insured, so it doesn't matter. They're not saving any money on insurance. They still have to hold the amount that's required by them to hold. All that driver facing camera is there for is to cause you more problems make your life a little harder, make your life a little more stressful. But there is a way to fix that. If drivers quit working for companies that have them, guess what? They'll start doing away with them. And then drivers can go back. But it's gonna take drivers deciding, hey, I'm not working for a company with a driver facing cam no more. I ain't doing that. The generations out here before us, the truck before us, our grandfathers, our dads, our uncles, they paved the way for us because they didn't put up with things they didn't want to put up with. We're not doing a very good job of paving the way for the next generation behind us. I've seen a lot of things happen to us over the years. Just in the 13, 14 years I've been out here, I've seen all kinds of things happen that we just allow. We gripe about it, but we allow it. We don't, we don't stop working for those companies. Matter of fact, those companies start getting more employees because most of those companies are training companies. And I know some of you out there right now might say, well, see, that won't help. They still have to have trainers. Trainers start leaving, guess what? They ain't got no trainers. When they don't have enough trainers, they got a problem. They have a serious problem. Won't work for them. 
anyway it's just something to think about if you are looking for a company that doesn't have drive cams and you are a decent driver you don't have a bad record you're not out here watching movies going down the road you're not out here with your foot on the dash you're not one of those rookies that requires a camera looking at you to make sure you're doing your job because that's how i feel about it if you put a camera in my truck you're telling me i don't know how to do my job and i do know how to do my job i don't need a camera to do it for me just something to think about y'all take care stay safe i appreciate all y'all for stopping by don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and keep trucking on a stretcher, mm. in the lab I step to the mic and feel like I'm Dexter, mm. I'm a man, dark world, but I'm still shining like treasure, mm. yeah, I got joy like ha ha ha, wait, and I can't wear smiles, that's fake, then I'm between love and strong, hey, clock says no time for me, stakes, ring the alarm, sirens go off, but I'm calm, my life resides in this palm, submit to my pops, respect for my mom, honor them both so my life will be long, huh. third time, get the charm of the third strike, had to